Hello, Jetron Yozir, Galaxy's Greatest Explorer. If you are a regular receiver of my transmissions, you will know that I am about to cross the Abyss to Beagle Point. Here, I've decided not to take the advised route, so, with the massive distance between stars and the abyss, we may be in for some excitement. Incidentally, if you are wondering why you are receiving this transmission rather late, you may be interested to know that Blind Pew says he was away on business. Although, what business he has locked at the back of that broom cupboard back there, I do not know. Are you going to let us out anytime soon? That's right. Both Blind Pew, the previous captain and basic cargo pilot, and Ben Gunn, the head of engineering, are still locked in the broom cupboard and storage closet respectively. Let me out of here, Jet. They are still suffering from void sickness unfortunately, for them. I feel perfectly fine, Jet. Beagle Point the next system. So easy to get here. And you made such a big thing about crossing the formating rift queue. Smoke and mirrors. You're clearly benefiting from the massive increase in the Star Chaser's jump range since then, Jen. No pew, I'm benefiting from the massive increase in exploration skills since the galaxy's greatest explorer took over. Of course, no biggie for me. I discovered this place a few years before that Aramis guy, whoever he is. Okay, we've arrived. Heading to the beacon they seem to have placed here now. So very easy to get here pew. But then I am the galaxy's greatest explorer. Let's look at this beacon. Surely this should be celebrating the fact, oops. You just crashed into it didn't you? No. No I didn't. Surely this should be celebrating the fact that I discovered this system. Alright then, heading down to the designated parking spot. Ahead of the cutoff point, so on touchdown, this will mean successful completion of the Distant Worlds 2 expedition. And do we get a shiny bauble for finishing? No, but you do get the satisfaction of knowing that you might be the second best explorer in the galaxy. A long, long way behind me though. Long way. Jetron Yo's Congress Beagle Point. Why, is it your first time here Jed? Of course not, I've been here many times. First discovered it as you know. Sorry for interrupting your important discussion guys, but Jed, can you let us out so that we can take a look around? Yes, that would be most pleasing. Oh, I'm afraid not guys. I think you are still suffering from that void sickness, and probably will for some time to come. So it would be inappropriate to let you out. You are really not going to let us out. Unfortunately, not. Right then, let's take a look at these systems now we are here. Pew, why did you fit all these weapons, Wake, Xeno, cargo scanners and ship launched fighters? It's compromised the jump range somewhat. Well, I thought it was possible there would be a groundbreaking discovery en route, Thargoid, or perhaps, Guardian in nature. Well that was never going to happen was it? Hindsight is a wonderful thing Jed. Did I really come all the way to Beagle Point just for this rather poor view out of the porthole here? Come on Jed let us out. Yeah, Jed, it's even worse for me. I can hardly see anything out of this lapse at the back of the storage closet. Let us out will you? I'm afraid that's not possible Dave. Air Ben. You see this is a pathetic destination for the galaxy's premier explorer. And so, 
We are heading onwards to the Samitis Beacon. Here. What? Literally, the furthest point from Sol, the very edge of the galaxy here. And more importantly, a place definitely outside the jump range of the Star Chaser, in current configuration. Yes, that's it. And we are supposed Landing gear retracted. to just trust in your skills to get us there in one piece I suppose. I'm starting to feel sick. You know, we've been on that planet for over a month. Time flies when you're having fun. It is excruciating when you're not, like when trapped at the back of a broom cupboard on the far side of the galaxy, or something. It's getting a bit tricky now. There are no systems further on within the jump range. Our destination is 115 light years away, and the nearest system 83 away. The Star Chaser would have made that last one without all this redundant equipment you fitted to you. True, but just use some Jumponium. Stage 1 should get you to that next star. What do you think you're doing, Pew? Trying to teach the galaxy's most famous explorer how to explore. Put a sock in it, will you? A couple more jumps and we are there, off we go. And Pew. Don't forget, this is no longer the Star Chaser. It's the Apex Explorer, by Jed Nanos. Okay, here we go. And we've arrived. I say, Jed, now we have arrived in this very hard to reach system. Would you mind describing what you see on the system map? Sure, it says it was all discovered by a Samisham, whoever he is. Are you kidding me? Wherever we go, Samisham. Let me guess though he didn't even leave one planet for someone else. No gentlemen. Don't worry about it Pew. The readout's all wrong. If you refer to the book, Apex Explorer by Jed Nunyos, available in all the best exploration bookshops, you will find the true first discover was. Jed Nanyos. I've set a course for the furthermost moon. Over 100,000 light seconds to go. Whilst we wait, if we look at the galaxy map, you can clearly see that. Beyond this system, there are just no stars. Nothing at all. This is the very edge. Better not stare into that void view and bend. Approaching the trap now, err, the outermost moon now. What do you mean? Oh nothing. In orbit. Hang on a sec. What was that? Okay, starting descent. You know that both of you guys are locked in back there. In the broom cupboard in storage closet. Yes. Yes. Right then. I think it's time. Pew and Ben. Did you hear that clank back in orbit? Well, I ejected your guardian frame shift drive booster. What the? So your jump range is now drastically reduced. Which, I'm sure you will agree, is a bit of a problem for us, or you given that it took that booster plus Jamponium materials to reach this remote system. But why? I'm sure that you recall that I am not in fact here, on this ship, in person. If you recall, you chose to maroon me thousands of light years above the galactic plane. In this system on the map. On this planet on the map now. As it happens, I'm only on this ship because, against the odds, I managed to find some Guardian ruins on that planet, allowing me to tally presence into the Guardian armor you had on board, which you found at the Guardian Beacon. So, thanks for marooning me, and let me return the favor by tally presencing out. Leaving you stranded on the far side of the galaxy. Jet no. Tally presencing out, now. didn't just do that, did he? 
I'm very much afraid he did. This leaves us in a rather tricky spot. We need to get these doors down. Break it down. I'm trying. Come on. The doors are sound.